Hello friends, good morning. In my last to last class, I had explained the limitations of our current relays. The limitations were basically that operating time is relatively large and number two was the operating time depends on the magnitude of the current and magnitude of the current is affected by location of the fault, type of the fault, fault impedance and generating conditions. Therefore, the application of overcurrent relays is limited to low voltage lines that is distribution lines only. In my last class, I had explained the requirements of protection system for high voltage lines. When the requirements, we had seen that for high voltage lines, we require the protection system which acts very fast which provides effective backup protection, good selectivity and can make arrangement to operate the circuit breaker at both the ends simultaneously to retain the transient stability of the system. So if we look all these requirements, then we find that distance relay is the best relay for protection of high voltage lines. In my earlier lectures, I had explained all all the details of the distance relays. So today I will highlight the important points of those distance relays and I will explain two important distance relays which are having unconventional characteristics. The first point is regarding the operating condition of the distance relays. Definition is these are the relays which operate when ratio of voltage measured by the relay and current through the relay falls below certain predetermined value. So operating condition is Vr upon Ir should be less than Zn. Why Zn? Because V upon I is measure of impedance. So if this ratio voltage measured by the relay and current through the relay is less than impedance setting of the relay, then the relay operates. And this impedance is nothing but the measure of distance of the fault from the relay location, therefore generic name is distance relays. Now Vr upon Ir we can write in terms of impedance, so that is Zr. So impedance measured by the relay, if it is less than the impedance setting of the relay, then the relay operates. So this is the operating condition. <coughs> Second is about the actuating quantities. Now here we can see that for operation of the distance relays, we require voltage as well as current. Therefore, this is double actuating quantity relay. Whereas, over current relay is single actuating quantity relay because there we measure only the current. Here we need to measure voltage as well as current. Therefore, if it is electromagnetic relay, then there will be two windings, two coils. One is voltage coil or pressure coil and second is current coil. And Standard rating of this voltage coil or voltage winding is 110 volts and current coil can be either 5 ampere rated or it can be rated at 1 ampere. That is about the electromagnetic type of relay. Third point about this is or third important point about this distance relay is its characteristic. Its characteristic is plotted on Rx diagram by taking resistance R along x axis and reactors x along y axis and this is obtained by converting three parameters which we can measure that is voltage current and phase angle difference between these two quantities v i and phi by converting these three quantities into two quantities that is r and x r that is resistance is v upon i into cos phi that is z into cos phi and x is v upon i into sin phi or sin theta here it it is theta or you can say phi that is angle between v and i and x is v upon i sin theta that is z into sin theta that is the reactance. So we plot the characteristic of the distance relay on Rx diagram by converting three measurable parameter that is v, i and angle between them by converting these three parameters into two parameters that is resistance and reactance. Then classification of these distance relays. Distance relays are classified according to their characteristic in Rx diagram. So we get three conventional characteristics. 
First is impedance relay. This is the characteristic of impedance relay. The characteristic of impedance relay is a circle having center at origin and its radius is equal to impedance setting of the relay. Impedance setting we denote by Zn. So radius is equal to Zn and it is a circle with center at origin. So this is the characteristic of the impedance relay. And operating condition is Zr should be less than Zn. So all the impedance vectors whose tip lie inside this circle, they will operate the relay. So inside this circle, it is positive torque region or operating region. Next is reactance relay. The characteristic of reactance relay on RX diagram is straight line parallel to resistance axis and passing through the reactance point where it is Xn. Xn is the reactance setting of the relay. As it is reactance relay, it is measuring the reactance and operating characteristic is Xr that is reactance measured by the relay should be less than Xn. So all the impedance vectors whose tip lie below this line, they cause the operation of the relay. Third type is Mo relay. The characteristic of Mo relay is a circle passing through origin having diameter is equal to impedance setting of the relay at angle tau degrees with respect to the resistance axis. I will repeat. Characteristic of Mo relay is a circle passing through origin having impedance is equal having diameter is equal to impedance setting of the relay that is written at angle tau degrees with respect to the resistance axis where tau is maximum torque angle. This terminology maximum torque angle I had explained you in the directional relay. And operating condition for this Mo relay is Zr should be less than Zn cos theta minus tau. Theta is angle between V and I. So all the impedance vectors whose tip lie inside this circle, they cause the operation of the relay. So all these things I had explained in detail in my previous lectures. Then I had explained how to check the performance of the distance relays. And while checking the performance of the distance relays, we had obtained that impedance relay is non-directional. Reactance relay is also non-directional, means they operate for the fault in both the directions. And more relay is directional relay. These are three conventional characteristics. If the characteristic of this more relay is shifted from the origin, that is called as offset more relay. Offset more relay. So these are three conventional characteristics. Along with this, we use two more characteristics in power system production that I will explain today. So four conventional characteristics I had explained: impedance relay, reactance relay. More relay and offset more relay. Then there are two non conventional or unconventional characteristics. So I, I am giving this number 5 angle impedance relay or blinder. The characteristic of this blinder or angle impedance relay is a straight line at some angle in RX diagram. So this is the characteristic. This is called as blinder. This is straight line. And if you look at this straight line on RX diagram or in general, then it will have characteristic of Y is equal to MX plus C. That will be the nature of the characteristic. Now in this RX diagram, Y is representing reactance. So it is X. X of generalized equation is represented by resistance. So it is R. So characteristic of blinder is X is equal to MR plus XC, where M is the slope and Xc is its intercept on reactance Xc. So this point will be Xc. If it can be like this also. It can be at any, at any angle. So M and C can vary. But characteristic is straight line. There at some angle. Therefore it is called as angle impedance relay or in general it is called as blinder. Next is quadrilateral relay. It has quadrilateral characteristic. So, in RX diagram, it will be represented like this. So, this is quadrilateral. So, this quadrilateral consists of four lines. Number one, 
नंबर टू नंबर थ्री एंड नंबर फोर फर्स्ट लाइन इज हैविंग इक्वेशन एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इज रिएक्टेंस आर इज रेजिस्टेंस सो फर्स्ट स्ट्रेट लाइन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज गवर्न बाई इक्वेशन एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सेकेंड इट इज लाइक रिएक्टेंस इज ए कैरेक्टरिस्टिक तो सेकेंड लाइन इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स एन थर्ड लाइन इज ब्लाइंडर पासिंग थ्रू ओरिजिन सो इट इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू एम वन आर फोर्थ स्टेट लाइन इज अ ब्लाइंडर हैविंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एक्स इज इक्वल टू एम टू आर प्लस एक्स सी नाउ एम वन एंड एम टू कैन बी इक्वल सो इफ दे आर इक्वल देन लाइन थ्री एंड लाइन फोर दे विल बी पैरल सो इट इज अ क्वारिलेटरल सो इन साइड दिस क्वारिलेटरल इट इज ऑपरेटिंग रीजन इन साइड दिस क्वारिलेटरल इट इज ऑपरेटिंग रीजन सो ऑल द इम्पिडेंस वेक्टर्स टिप लाइ इन साइड दिस क्वारिलेटरल दे कॉज द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द क्वारिलेटरल रिले दिस क्वारिलेटरल रिले इज ऑल्सो डायरेक्शनल रिले इट हैज डायरेक्शनल फीचर वी कैन हैव वन मोर कन्वेंशनल नॉन कन्वेंशनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एंड दैट इज द एलिप्टिकल रिले सो इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक विल बी एलिप्स ऑन आर एक्स डायग्राम लाइक इम्पिडेंस रिले एंड मोर रिले they are circle but elliptical relay is having ellipse elliptical characteristic on rx diagram so in this video lecture i had explained the basics of distance relays and i have explained these two non conventional characteristics in coming lectures i will explain the settings of distance relays different types of settings for different for distance relays for high voltage line protection then connections of distance relays for high voltage line protection and the factors affecting the performance of distance relays during their operation so friends if you feel this video lecture useful then please like it subscribe to my channel ask your friends colleagues and juniors to subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on high voltage engineering and power system protection If you want to make efficient and effective use of time then read my book on time management the link for the book is given in the description box I have launched one course on Udemy the course is very useful for the students in general and for the students who are preparing for competitive and entrance exam the course can be the course the link for the course is given in the description box title of the course is boost your learning and become top achiever the course can be attained by any student of 9 class and above thank you